Hey everyone, welcome back to Men's Essentials. A few weeks ago, I made a video about my um, original Edwin Jagger Razor, the DE89 LBL. That one broke on me and stopped working, so I was looking out for a new razor. Um, before that Edwin Jagger broke, I actually bought a backup razor, the Manscaped 2.0. Um, and I've been using that one since, but it doesn't really satisfy all my shaving needs. And I'll tell you why, guy in the video. Tell you guys why in the video. Um, in the original video that where I talked about how my Edwin Jagger broke, the original one, um, I talked about two different options um, that I was considering buying. So the two other razors that I was considering buying were the Mula R89 and the Merker MK34C. Um, I ended up not buying either one of those. I actually bought a completely different razor, a different Edwin Jagger razor, guys. Um, it's the Kelvin. That's the name of the model. It's an Amazon exclusive. I read the reviews and I liked what people had to say, so I figured that I would try it. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it. I've been using it a couple of weeks and I do like it. Um, but before I go into more detail about the razor, a quick pause on this channel, guys, I make videos about what I like to call men's essentials. So any accessories for men like grooming products, watches, sunglasses, anything that I consider is an essential accessory for men, please like and subscribe for, for more content like this, guys. Let's get into the review. All right, guys, so in the intro, I did sort of mention that the Manscaped Plow 2.0 safety razor didn't completely satisfy my shaving needs. I was looking for something with a shorter handle, but that was also knurled. This Manscaped razor has a knurled handle, but the one thing I don't like about the handle is that it's too thin. And actually another thing I don't like about it is that it's too long for me personally. Um, with my razors, I like having something that has more girth and is just shorter because I feel like I have a better grip and more control while I'm shaving. So I started researching and looking into other razors that have knurled handles and a thicker and shorter handle um, because that's, you know, that's what I prefer. It's what I'm looking for. So in my research, I ended up uh, running into the Kelvin from Amazon. Um, I really like that name, too. I know a couple people in my life named Kelvin, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, price wise, also. So right now, uh, it's actually $29.06 as of this moment. I'm recording this on the 7th of October. So if you guys go on Amazon, $29 for this razor is pretty good. That's $10 cheaper than what I paid for it. Um, I paid about $37 a couple of weeks ago. And with taxes, I think it came, came out to about $40. So go check out Amazon, guys. Hopefully, it's still this price when you go look. Um, that's a pretty good deal. Anyway, guys, what I like about this Kelvin razor. So it's got a knurled handle like I explained at the beginning. That's what I was looking for. You can get a really good grip while you're shaving. It is This one is a little bit more aggressive than I expected. And some of the comments that I saw and reviews on Amazon, it sounded like some people were trying to make it sound like it's a beginner friendly razor, which I think it is. But maybe, well, I'm not so sure. To be honest with you, if if I were to recommend a razor to a complete beginner, I would tell them to go with the Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL, which was my first razor. It's not as aggressive as this one. Um, so that's what I would recommend. But it's, I mean, I guess a beginner could still uh, use it. They might just get some nicks and cuts and, and it'll, but they'll learn, not a big deal. Um, they do give you a free five pack of derby blades with this, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the girth on the razor, it seems like it's the same thickness as the DE89 LBL, but the length is shorter than the DE89 LBL. Um, and it's also, uh, the DE89 LBL is a little bit longer 
um, but not as long as the Manscaped Plow Razor. The DE89 LBL model that I had, the handle was 3.74 inches long. The new Kelvin razor I have now, is, the handle is 3.27 inches long. And the Plow 2.0 is 3.94 inches long. So yeah, that's definitely longer than I prefer. Um, again, this Kelvin from Edwin Jagger is a perfect length for me. Um, it just gives you more control and I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's definitely got a good, comfortable weight. It feels well balanced. And I think that has to do with the length of the handle too. Um, it's hefty. It doesn't feel light. Um, so it's great. Yeah. Now there is one way in which the manscaped handle, the manscaped razor handle is better than this Kelvin from Edwin Jagger. And that is in the knurling. The knurling and the manscaped um, handle is just, it seems like they made the lines deeper. So you get a better grip. I wish that the Edwin Jagger had deeper um, cuts, deeper lines in there to, to make it easier on the knurling, easier to hold. Um, it's still, you still get a good grip when your hands are wet. Um, so it's not a big complaint, but that is one thing that I would recommend if they asked me. I would say, you know, make the lines deeper so that the grip on the knurling is, is better. So now the original D89 LBO that I got was was lined. Um, so that was kind of it could get slippery if I let my hands get wet during shaving, which could be a bad thing. Um, but I was normally pretty careful, so I didn't let the handle get too wet. Uh, but overall, guys, I would say that this Kelvin razor, um, it's amazing. I The shaves that I've gotten from it, I'm not overstating this when I say it. They're, they're some of the best shaves that I've gotten in a long time, maybe ever. Um, now, these are, in my opinion, all three of these razors are on the lower end of, you know, of razors. I, I would say they're all three beginner razors, but um, I'm definitely going to jump in and, and buy a more expensive, maybe a bit more aggressive one in the future. I've been wet shaving about uh, nine years now, so, so I think it's time for me to, you know, upgrade and get something a little bit nicer. Um, but this is definitely, this razor get, it has given me some amazing shaves. And I, I tested it out with different blades, you know, Derby, Feather, Shark, um, just different ones to see what the quality is like. And um, with all three of those, I got a quality shave. The Feather ones obviously gave me the best one. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to test it out with different blades just to see the difference. Um, like I said, it is a bit more aggressive than expected. So just watch out if you're a beginner. But overall, I would highly recommend this one from Amazon, guys. Go get it now. It's $29.99. I got it for $37 or $38 originally. So go get it. It's cheap. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what you think, though. Please leave some comments. And if you recommend any other razors, just let me know. Please like and subscribe, guys. I always like hearing your feedback, too. Um, thanks for stopping by Men's Essentials. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.